Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I'm coming to you with your first Oracle card guidance for this year and I am really sorry for not being able to come through for you last week. We're using this week we have the uh, Enchanted Map Oracle, we have the Madame Medora Fortune Cards and we have the Queen of the Moon Oracle. So go ahead make your selection and I'll meet you in the reading. Timestamps are below as always. So for those of you who've chosen this deck here the option number one we are asking what is your guidance for the week ahead what is your guidance for the week ahead so we're just escaping from some uh, unsettling eclipse energy and i'm expecting that the week ahead will be calmer than the last week let's just see what it gives us Okay, so we have the field of dreams here and I feel that this is a great time for you in this week to take time off to think about what you'd like uh, to see ahead in your life. It might be for the next few months, it might be for the next few weeks, it might be just till the end of the month or it could also be until uh, the next few years or even a decade ahead. But basically this card's talking to me about you taking that time off to be able to understand what it is that you truly want, to be able to really imagine the life that you'd like to live and how you'd like to live that life and how you'd like to be spending your days and what would an ideal day look like from morning till night and what can you dream yourself doing and where would you like to go to? How would you like to to feel in your life and what would you like to be doing with your time what would you like your contribution to be and I feel that this card here is telling me about being able to bring that into a, a state of um, productivity to be able to bring that into a state of building right so we are consolidating here the ideas that you may have at this moment or that you may have had for as long as you've been alive and we are looking at what are those ideas and how can they be translated into reality so we have the number three here numerologically and it's you know 21 would be your your three and I feel that this is a year or this is a time for you in which this can come to fruition so whatever you dream of whatever you think may be just in the world of dreams could actually come to be a reality at this moment and it's something that uh, one could really focus on and and manifest at this moment so i'd like to take this moment to just apologize if the camera or the um, microphone is not really working as as perfectly as it could be i'm trying a different setup at the, uh, this year and I'm still playing around with it and trying to see if it's going to work or not work so I do apologize if something's out of focus I'm not really able to see the viewfinder from where I'm sitting and uh, I do hope that it's working out okay if it doesn't work out okay I'll, I'll I'll try I'll change it for next week so the other thing I'm hearing here is that in the last years you may have been um somehow shrunken your dreams may have shrunken or your capacity may have shrunken or the feeling that you could do almost anything would have dissipated a bit or, or gotten a bit weaker and what I'm being shown here is that there's a revival of this there's a renewal of that energy and you can actually begin to feel again you can begin to dream again and understand that it is possible for you to be able to live as you would desire or to be able to do that which you desire and to be able to actually dream simply be able to dream so for some of you this capacity to dream and to be able to feel and to be able to enclose yourself with a, a reality of what that of which you desire has not been there and it's about being able to revive that or just being able to uh, dip your toes in that water or that, you know understand what that feeling is of being able to dream of that which you desire and to be able to create something which you could in fact desire so it's almost giving yourself the permission to dream and when you're dreaming uh, to be able to give yourself the permission to manifest that and simply to understand that whatever it is that you desire can actually come into being so be very clear about what it is that you desire and be very um 
yeah, very specific. Be, be very precise about what it is that you desire because you're going to find that this is a time in which whatever you're dreaming is going to be easier manifested as uh, than before. And um, if you are going to be focusing on that which you cannot have or that which you you uh, is, is out of your reach or that which you believe is out of your reach, then you're going to find that it stays that way or it is going to be that way. It's going to manifest. So whatever you're thinking about or how you're thinking about it is going to also influence the way in which you manifest. So the other thing I'm hearing here is that um, one shouldn't be afraid to dream. One shouldn't be afraid to um, venture beyond your beyond to have some imagination, to have some fantasy in the way in which you go about exploring that w of which you desire. I'm also hearing here that you may be hearing some voices. I know this is kind of out of nowhere, but uh, you may be hearing some voices or getting getting some feelings, uh, some kind of extra, um, well, out of this world type of feelings, like something that's not coming from here and you might be experiencing this and wondering what this is or you may be having dreams that are quite um, flamboyant and and quite uh, extraordinary and what they are saying is embrace this and embrace this energy and take that in and and work with that and allow yourself to move beyond like move further and further move beyond your horizon move in whichever way you desire, but do not stay still at this moment in terms of your imagination and your manifestation. Allow yourself to expand in every direction and see where that brings you. Because come the next month, you're going to find that you are, you have actually manifested a lot of joy in your life because I just see you being happy and light and laughing. And there's this actual beautiful feeling of being satisfied and and like, like this childlike joy that you're experiencing so I feel that here this this card here is actually promising quite a lot and it could actually bring you a fair amount of joy if you allow it to so to summarize that it's about being able to dream and think about what it is that you desire and be very precise about that and also allow yourself to expand within your imagination and go beyond and if you are uh, experiencing any strange dreams or any type of uh, quite uh, flamboyant experiences or hearing some voices just go with it for the moment there's a purpose and a reason for this and also um, here allow yourself to just dream beyond what it is that you usually dream about or what it is that you un usually want. And if it is that you don't know what you want, then work with that, trying to see what it is that you could possibly want. Or when did you stop dreaming? When did you stop wanting? When did you stop believing that you could have what you want? When did you stop understanding that the road to your happiness and to your desire um, was is no longer there? Or when did you, when did you, stop being able to dream and and when did you give up basically go back to that and identify that point and try to begin again from there so I hope that message has been clear it's just I feel like so many different energies here for some of you it's just like you're all in different places and um this this card is basically saying, um, you know, allow yourself to explore your dreams. And I'm not talking about the dreams that you have when you're asleep, but that those dreams which you have, you know, for your life, your goals and where you want to be. And what is so important is to be able to allow yourself to, to, to dream again. So I think that's been, I hope that's been clear and I hope that's been helpful. And I would like to thank you for coming by. I hope that you um, have a wonderful week ahead and, uh, yeah, wishing you that your dreams come true. So moving on to the next deck right now. Here we have the Madame Medora Fortune cards. And the question we're asking is, what is it that you need to know for the moment? What is it? What is your guidance, your weekly oracle guidance? There we are. Okay, so we have the Caduceus 
And uh, this is a card that I believe came out in one of the Oracle card readings not so long ago. And I want you to, if you've chosen this card, if you've chosen this option and this card came out for you uh, a while ago, it might have been a few months ago, I want you to go back and think about what was going on in your life at that moment and ask yourself if there's any relevance right now to what was going on back then. So the caption here reads, you will receive news from afar you will receive news from afar. And I think that literally you may actually receive news from afar. So you may actually hear from somebody that you haven't heard from for a long time, for from a friend. You might actually hear from an institution that you were hoping to attend or to go to or to be a part of. You may also receive news from afar from a family member. But that is the literal meaning here that's written here. But I feel that this card has so many other messages for you. And I just want to talk about that. So there's this feeling here that there's a melding that's necessary or there's um, a dance that is necessary to take place before you can come into your balance. So I feel like in a way the energy that's that you're embodying right now is like a pendulum that's swinging from one side to the other, from left to right and right to left. And what we need is for that pendulum to come to a gentle stillness and a balance. And this card is talking to me about being able to achieve that balance within you, being able to achieve that balance that's inside of you and that's speaking to you right now, which you may have achieved already. So I'm hearing that some of the pe some of you may have achieved that already. And if you have, then, you know, a pat on your back or, you know, celebrate that and try to maintain that and see how long you can. Because what I'm seeing here is that for those of you who've chosen this, there is a feeling of not being clear about where you are at and what you desire. There's a feeling of not being certain about what your life has to offer or how to bring it all together, how to meld it all together and the question is how do you actually take that of what you have the skills that you have or the the attributes that you have the characteristics that you have the resources that you have and how are you able to bring it together to create something that is beautiful and that is in alignment with your soul and so this card is talking about that now I know that sounds like a very general message here but um, this message is broken down into more than one um, more than one section and one of the those sections are just being able to bring yourself into balance first and being able to maintain that balance for as long as possible so you know perhaps you're able to maintain that balance for a day or two or so several weeks um, but we are talking about being able to maintain that balance and never being able to come out of that balance and so this is that delicate walk um, that this card is talking about that this message is there for you it's about being how long are you able, it's almost like a challenge that they're offering you. How long are you able to keep your balance? When you come into your state of balance, how long are you able to keep yourself in that state of balance? Because what they're showing me here is that if you're in a state of depression or if you experience depression on some level and you kind of um, fall into it sometimes or you spiral downward and then you pick yourself up again and then you're doing okay, this all requires a lot of energy. Now, this is not just applying to people who have depression, but to anyone who's finding themselves out of balance and then in balance, out of balance and then in balance. And so we're looking at how is it that we can actually create a state where we can find ourselves in balance, but consistently, because from this, you're going to find that you're going to gain quite a lot from it. You want to be able to gain that balance and keep it for a long, long time. You're going to find that you are able to gain a lot more. So it's like this person, the image I'm getting here, it's it's this person who is going along in their lives and they're making some improvements, but then they come out of balance again. They fall off their horse and then they got to get on their horse and they're making progress again, but they never actually move beyond a certain point where they're able to make a greater progress. And this card is telling me that there's so much that awaits you and there's so much that you can do. There's so much potential here and there's such a great contribution that can be made, but you never, you're not going to be able to see it as long as you keep falling off your horse, as long as you keep falling out of balance. Now, for some of you, you may find that it's not possible to keep that balance and it's really hard to be able to maintain that that state of being okay for a long time without just falling off. But for others of you, this the message is that it's almost become a habit 
Like, you know, you're going to be fine for a few weeks, a few months, a few days. And you know, there's going to be a moment where you're not going to be okay. And it's almost like you've accepted that as being part of your rhythm. And they are saying here that that needs to change. That needs to actually uh, fall away because you can actually maintain this balance for a much longer time that you've realized. And when you have, when you go deeper and you, you in yourself, you'll be able to realize that you can make so much of progress and so much of um of headway in the direction that you desire, whichever direction that is, as long as, you know, it's what you desire. So I feel that the news for some of you that you will receive from afar is from afar in you. It's it's a space in you that's a far away from you because you haven't allowed yourself to get further there. It's like you, you know, if if you are if the space that is within you that is it goes from like zero to ten and you it's the like ten is afar, then then you keep going from like zero to four, zero to four, over and over again. And you're not allowing yourself to go to like eight or to nine or to 10 or even to six. So it's about, you know, just free falling in your in your balance, like coming to a state of balance and then just being able to allow yourself to be held within that space, because that space is going to bring you into greater, into a greater being. It's going to bring you into a greater state uh, of of being, and it's going to be very productive or very uh, um, successful for you. You're going to have a feeling of achievement after doing this. So give that a try and see how it goes for you. Because I think that this could be one of the answers to your situation. You know, it could be one of the, the answers that you've been looking for for a while. Like you haven't realized that this is what's actually been happening. Like you be, you're almost in a, in a pattern or in a ritual of uh, falling off your horse and then, you know, and then taking time again to get back on it and get used to it. So allow yourself to just ride a little longer and see what will come from it. So I hope that message has been useful. I feel like there's more to this, but um, I, f I can't go on right now. It's just, it's almost like a blockage. And um it, this happens sometimes when I'm doing the readings, like there's a lot of messages, like a hundred messages, and then it's, it stops me after I give the first two. So, and then later on it comes, I, I get the message again. And, um, but I feel like here it's, it's almost as if there's more to this, but I'm not allowed to see it because you're not allowed to hear more right now. And as long as you are, you know, you have to hear like what this is all that you need to hear right now. And then later, there's more that will come out of this. So I do hope this card comes up in the future again, because I feel that um, that it may have a message for you back then again. All right. So if you do uh, these weekly oracles with me and uh, you, you you see this deck again, uh, the Meta Mandora deck, choose it again uh, and see what the message is in a few months from now when I use this uh, deck again. Okay, so I hope that has been useful for you and I'm wishing you a lovely, lovely week ahead. And for those of you who've chosen the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck here, which is the third deck, be asking, what is your weekly guidance? What is your weekly guidance? Okay, and this is your card. We have your protection and it's the waning crescent one. It's the number 24. And the first thing I'm hearing is what is it that you need to protect? What is it that you need to protect at this moment? So it's about looking at all you've achieved, all you've gained, all that you own and all that you're responsible for and asking yourself, how do I protect this and how do I secure this and how do I ensure that this is going to be okay in the long term? So in the long term means in the next few months, okay? So this message or in the, even longer for some of you, but the message I'm getting specifically is in the next few months, it could be until later this year. You're going to need to understand that you need to protect that which you have, not because it may be stolen or something like this. It's got nothing to do with that. But it may be that you need to to, um, to change your circumstances or your, your situation changes and you need to store some of the things that you own. Or you have um, 
a certain qualifications that you need to protect or you need to ensure that it's recognized. So this could be physical resources, physical material things that you need to protect or you need to take care of. And or it might be um, something that you've achieved that you may to need to look after or keep um, ensure that it's recognized like uh, a qualification that you may have. It's also something that you may have gained over the last year. So what have you gained over the last 18 months or so? What have you understood? What have you learned? And how is it that you need to be able to protect that? So for some of you here, I feel like your situation is changing. I don't know how you're changing. It might be that you're moving jobs or you, you're moving home or you, you're moving in some way. And it maybe the change is not like apparent right now. But this message for me feels like it's not just for this week. Although this week is when you're going to be thinking about these themes or when it will come to the fore. And then this message is actually for a longer time for you which is unlike uh, the other messages which I drew today. But this is a message like that feels like it's a, for a minimum of three to four months to about seven to eight months. And it, this theme is going to be running through then. And it's about actually understanding what it is that you need to protect. So you may have uh, indeed grown a lot or transformed a lot. And there's certain things about yourself that you need to protect in the context of being with other people, which you may find will be a challenge in the next few weeks or as we as the as the change that you make in your life comes to bear. And I'm hearing here that it's important for you to really uh, look after yourself, really take good care of yourself and really protect that which you have. And also in line with this, like the, there's like two sides of the coin here. It's about being able to feel gratitude for what, that which you have. So some of the one of the ways in which you could just be protecting what you have is to be able to recognize what you have and and be grateful for it. So to acknowledge it. And sometimes when we are caught up in life, um, it's we forget to feel gratitude or we forget to acknowledge that which we have already and to see the value of that. Because, you know, as human beings, we could be always after something else, always after and wanting something else, wanting something new, and we forget that which of which we have. So this card's talking about how we can protect that which we have and how we can acknowledge that. If you if you don't recognize what it is that you have, if you if you scratching your head and wondering what is she talking about, like what is it that I have? Well, you know, think about the health that you have, think about how you live and what you have at your avail and and think about your friendships, your relationships. How is it that you need to be able to protect these things? What is valuable in your life right now? What has worth in your life? And how is it that you need to be able to, are you going to be able to protect this? And how are you going to do that in the longer term, which is quite relevant here? Now, I feel that as we come up to the, uh, the first quarter in the uh, well this is the waning th this is the waning crescent but we're coming up to a waxing um uh, crescent in in the near in the next week and i feel that as you come to the end of this week uh, until friday or so when it is uh the, the the first quarter you are going to actually understand what i'm talking about and understand you would have found out by then what i'm what i mean and if you don't already know and you're going to take measures to be able to protect that which you have so it if you're moving and you're leaving some things behind it's like saying that you need to be able to protect those things when you go as well if you are moving with some things it asks that you protect that if you have um a younger people who you're caring for or older people that you're caring for, perhaps older parents or grandparents, they are asking that the way in which they are cared for or how they are given the attention that they need, uh, that they require needs to be reviewed. So it, this message applies to you in so many different ways. And this is one of the ways in which it applies to you. So I just want to take a moment and see if there's anything else I need to mention here. Okay, the other thing I need to mention here is that you are you are in this process, in this journey, okay? And I feel like this word, this movement, this journey keeps coming up. And it's not just because this bird is, is carrying um, this basket here and moving and, and in flight, but rather there's this real feeling that there's going to be great transformation, like physical transformation in your life as you go through this year. So you may have quite a lot of busy patches and times when you're moving a lot. Um, 
but here it's about being able to also look after yourself and care for that of which is yours. So it brings me back to the first point I made, which was about being able to appreciate yourself and being able to be, feel gratitude for that which you have. And sometimes that's simply your health, simply the body that you have and, you know, the cells in your being, your organs, the, your function, the functioning of your organs, the functioning of your immune system, the functioning of your, you know, your breath and your 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 circulatory system so it's all about basics here it's all about taking care of yourself and acknowledging and understanding the vulnerability that you have and therefore the protection that you need to have or implement for yourself to be able to look after you and to be able to look after also those around you somehow for some of you it's those around you more than yourself and this is why I feel the need to say that I feel that if you are also this is another message that may apply to just some of you not everyone but if you're needing to take time off to rest do so take time out to rest and sleep and just to recover because sometimes that is where your insights are going to come from when you rest you know take if you can like sleep 18 hours or longer and see how you can actually and see what comes up from that because when you come out of that well you might be very tired but if you come out of that you might find that there's been a healing that's taken place within you and you come up with new insights or your subconscious or unconscious is working during that time and there's a lot of processes taking place and this is where the work is actually being done so this message here has very different meanings for for all of you and i feel that you know you're going to feel there's going to be protection and healing and and care uh, being administered in many different ways for you um, over the next weeks or over the next months for some of you and some of you it's just this week but yes it's for the mo for most of you it's over the next months and it's going to uh, take place in more than one way so identify what that is so you can be a bit more conscious of it and understand what it is so that you can actually uh, prote uh, support that process okay so that is your reading for those of you uh, who've chosen this option here i hope that has been useful for you and i hope that as you go along in this week that you feel well and you feel happy and everything works out for you the way in which you desire okay so blessings abound from kismet rising much love to all of you